boys and girls, happy Easter. Uh, I'm sure you wonder why we sometimes say happy Easter. It's because we celebrate. We're celebrating Jesus, that Jesus is alive, he's risen from the dead. So hopefully this craft will explain it. So in your craft pack, you will have this yellow piece of paper. You will have two brown bits of paper, a cross, um, a little paper fastener, a little bit of paper that says, he is risen. Okay, and what you'll also need is some scissors, and be careful using these, um, make sure you have an adult. The same with paper fastener, this is quite short. Um, a pencil, some glue, and something maybe round to draw around, and this is for the, the big stone that goes over the tomb. And I'm also using this because when I'm sticking my paper fastener in, it means that I'm not piercing my finger. Now, so the first thing we're going to do is make the tomb. My boys and girls, I've already cut mine out because I'm not very good at drawing. So if you can make a big archway like this, you just put it down and draw a big arch, like something like that shape on your brown paper. And maybe with the help of an adult, cut it out. Okay. And once you've that done, now don't, that's okay, I have mine done already, so I'll take my time and tell you a story while you're doing that. And so we're going to stick it onto our piece of paper, okay? And I also made a little bit here, a little insert. You don't have to do this, but I just thought I would make it something. I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I just made this. And I'm sure you can have lots of different brilliant ideas of making stuff. So... I'm going to stick that down there like that and then my tomb I'm going to stick it just over there like that and press it down. Brilliant, brilliant. Now when Jesus was on the cross boys and girls um, as I say his friends came and took his body and put his body in the tomb but then three days later, two ladies, both called Mary, they came to the tomb to find Jesus, okay? So now we're going to make the big stone to go over the tomb. And as I have to say, I've already cut mine out as well, okay? So if you get something like a circle, maybe you could use something like this. That's what I used. And just put it down like that. And then I just drew around it. Just like that. And then I was able just to... Cut it out, okay? Now, here comes the bit where it's a bit sharp. Once we have that cut out, we're going to make a little hole in the stone of the tomb. And then I've put this through so we don't stick it into ourselves. This is where, oh, it gets a wee bit fittery through there, through there, there we go. Okay, so that's a hole made. And then we get our little paper fastener and we put it right through that hole, like that, push it right through like that. And then if we turn over a piece of paper and split it like that. So you see where it's all split? And that is the big stone on the tomb, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our cross. So if we get our cross and we put some glue on the cross, lovely, just like that, and we'll stick that onto a piece of paper as well. Lovely. So on the Easter Sunday, when the two Marys came to look for Jesus' body, they noticed that the stone was rolled away. So this stone here, was rolled away and they went into the tomb and Jesus' body wasn't there and they were absolutely frightened. They said, where is he? Where is he? Where is Jesus? So an angel appeared to them and the angel said, don't be afraid. Jesus isn't dead. He's alive. He is risen. So that's why we're going to put this little notes in, he is risen, onto our craft page here. Okay? So we'll put some glue on it. Okay? And we will stick it on, okay? So hopefully, boys and girls, you have your tomb stuck on, cut out and stuck on, the tombstone, which can roll away, our 
cross and the words, he is risen. So boys and girls, whenever the angel said to the two ladies called Mary, don't be afraid, Jesus is risen. Go and tell your friends all about Jesus and that Jesus is risen, Jesus is alive. And I know boys and girls, quite a lot of you in kids church would sing about Jesus being alive and that's brilliant. And that's what we're celebrating today. So I hope you go and tell all your friends all about Jesus being alive and how we celebrate Easter. So the stone rolled away. The stones rolled away. We have an empty tomb because Jesus is risen. So enjoy celebrating Easter. Enjoy doing your craft. See you soon. Bye.